In the headlines today, local heroes are soon to be chosen, recognising people for the outstanding acts of bravery and the top five most desirable postcodes in our region are revealed. Yesterday, applications opened for secondary school places in North Lincolnshire. This coming week, parents in the area will receive letters from the authority, which will give them their unique child's ID, which they need to apply for the places online. Parents will have until the 31st of October to apply. Those who have no access to the internet are encouraged to get a paper copy by telephoning the council. Local people are being asked to vote for a Humberside hero. The voting is up on the Humberside Fire and Rescue website and allows people to read the stories of those up for nomination before giving voting details. None of those up for nomination are actual firefighters, but are instead ordinary members of the public who have done extraordinary things. It's important because these acts of heroism go unnoticed by a vast majority of the public and what we're trying to do is we want to reward these individuals and a way that we can reward them is actually put them out there as local heroes for everyone else to actually recognise it and it's up to members of the public to actually vote for these individuals and it's their vote that will count to who actually ends up being our local hero of 2014. Actually contact us via the text uh, number or they can actually contact us via the email address. Brocklesby Church will be taking part in the National Heritage Weekend. Next Friday they will be hosting the Lost Air Exhibition which are tours on the hour from the church from 10am to 6pm. Refreshments will also be available in the church with donations in aid of the Royal British Legion Poppy Appeal. At 6.30pm there will be an evening prayer. Uh, the Heritage Weekend is a nationwide thing. It's basically to unlock buildings which you don't get to see. It's a freebie um, and there's some very interesting things to look at. Well, to see so, a lot of churches, so, uh, most of them are, are very beautiful. I mean, if you come here to Brocklesby, we're one of the few churches still with its 18th century horse box pews, um, still in its original setting, its original order. And uh, we've got some lovely buildings around here and they're worth looking at, they uh, really are. Whereabouts do you live in the Yorkshire and Humber region? Well, it's been revealed that if you live in the DN41 postcode, then you're in the top five most desirable places to live in the area. The other four postcodes are HU10, HU15, HU20 and YO43. We went to DN41 to find out what the locals think. I suppose the least to live in, yeah, pretty. And uh, no crime as such. And very quiet and good bus service as well. And uh, everybody's sort of good neighbours and everybody gets on well together and work together and, and that in, as I said, it's great just to believe. I've been here 12, 14 years now and I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I would, no, no way I would I want to move at all. And I'm not surprised at all because the, uh, the village is a one-off. There's no big road going through the middle of it. The schools are very good and there's not much trouble at all in healing i've lived here all my life you know you don't get any sort of vandalism so to speak I've, I've been on the council there's not a lot of reports from the local police have more or often got nothing to say you know it's a it's just a very nice place to live a local professional artist has gifted a drawing of the cleethorpes discovery center to northeast lincolnshire council he has been a member of the Lincolnshire Artist Society for over 25 years. Terry Clark has a deep affinity and interest with the River Humber and the forts, and his work reflects in particular how coastal erosion affects those elements and the landscape. Uh, it started in October uh, last um, year. Um, it was in response to a local, art, local uh, group of poets uh, to do with National Poetry Day, which the national theme was water, and I connected with the River Humber again from a, some past work and thought about doing the forts. And uh, so I did this big series for our winter exhibition here, and then I got the opportunity of being at the Discovery Centre. That's all from me for now. We'll be back with more news soon. If you have any news for us, then please don't hesitate to contact us on Grimsby 01472 31561 or contact us through Twitter, 
at Estuary TV or by searching for us on Facebook. Bye for now.